In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create the popular RGB split effect in Photoshop. Not only can this effect be applied to your photos and videos, but the same process can be added to any of your titles or graphics. Many popular brands are using this effect already, and I personally fell in love with this effect after watching Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. They use this effect to not only stylize their film, but they also use it functionally to show depth of field, to emphasize motion blur, and separate foreground and background elements. So let's hop into Photoshop and see how it's done. So if you're paying close attention, you probably saw I use this exact same effect in my intro. Let's play it back and check it out. Notice how the effect works on the titles, but also the pictures in the background as well. The process to make the effect is literally the exact same for both. One trick I like to do is to enhance the effect on parts of the image that are further away from the center. See how the T and the R are completely normal, while the L and the M are really being exaggerated? The same with Benny Wiley here in the background. His face has a little bit of the effect being applied to it, while it's really being exaggerated on his arms. Alright, now let's head into Photoshop for real this time and see how to do it. To make it easier to see what's going on, let's start off by adding this effect onto some graphics. I thought it'd be cool to remake this channel's logo, Bare Photo, because it's very simple and has some real world use. To start, let's grab the Type tool with T. I'm going to change the font to Open Sans and make it extra bold. While we're up here, let's change the font size to 200. Make sure that black is selected as our foreground color. If it's not, a quick shortcut to do that is by pressing D on your keyboard. Now let's click anywhere on the canvas and type Bare Photo. Now I want to center the text to the canvas. To do that, just click on the text layer, hold down Shift and click the background layer. Press V on your keyboard to bring up the alignment tools on your toolbar. Then I want to align it horizontally by clicking Align Horizontally. And to align it vertically, I'm going to click on Align Vertical. Let's then highlight Photo and change it to Regular. And just like that, my four-year design degree is finally paying off. All right, so to get started on the effect, first let's make a duplicate copy of the text layer. Make sure it's selected and hit Control or Command J. You can also click and drag it to a new layer, but I always recommend using keyboard shortcuts as often as possible. I'm going to rename this layer real quick to split one. So split one. Okay, so now let's right click on our copy layer and go to blending options. A faster way to do that is just to double click on the empty part of the layer. Under the advanced blending tab, you'll notice you have three checkboxes for R, G, and B. Those stand for red, green, and blue. And when you start unchecking them, you'll notice that, well, nothing happens. That's because these are a type of blend mode and they are currently blending in with a duplicate version underneath. Let's just uncheck green and blue and hit okay. Now with the split one layer still selected, hit Command T on your keyboard and let's scale this layer up a little bit. To make it scale from the center, we want to hold down Alter Option on our keyboard, grab one of these side boxes and scale it to the right. And just like that, we have our first color split. Let's now click on our original logo layer and make another duplicate. I'm going to rename it Split 2, so Split 2. Double click to bring up our blending options and I'm going to uncheck red, leaving green and blue checked and click OK. Now let's select Split 2, hit Command T again, and this time we're going to scale inwards. So grab the side boxes and start pulling it towards the center of the logo. Make sure you're holding down Alter Option so it scales from the center. Find a good spot and release. If you want to be precise with your scaling, you can hit Command T, go up to your toolbar, unlink the width and height percentage by clicking the link icon, and then manually enter in a percentage. Whatever you add to the first image to scale it up, just subtract it from your second image. And that's it. You have essentially mastered the RGB split effect. Now you don't have to scale it the way I did, you can always just move it left or right without scaling at all. That's just my personal preference. But now let's open up an image and try the effect on that. This is a photo I found on WeSaturate.com. They offer free photos to practice on. So if you're looking to practice on free RAW files, definitely check them out. I'm not affiliated with them at all. They just have really good stuff. I chose this photo because I love the lights and the reflections in the background. It looks like they held up a prism or something reflective to the camera. It's a super cool shot and should work great with this effect. I also applied one of my free Instagram presets to the image called Clarendon. If you want to download it, check out my Instagram preset video. There's 24 free presets for downloading. So I'm going to burn through this process real quick since you guys already know how to do it. Let's duplicate the original image twice with Control or Command J. Go to our blending options and uncheck green and blue. Hit OK. Now let's open up the blending options on the second layer and uncheck red and hit OK. Instead of scaling this photo, I'm just going to move them slightly. Let's select layer one copy and holding down shift and pressing left on my keyboard, I'm going to scoot it over one time. Now let's select layer one, hold down shift and press right on the keyboard to bump it over to the right. Let's zoom in and check it out. I love the effect it has on the edges of the skin. Her hair looks really awesome, but I think my favorite part is what it does with the lights. Let's turn the effects on and off so you can check it out. 
It just adds a whole other element to the photo. For this photo though, I would actually group the two effect layers together, add a mask and mask out most of her face. That way the effect isn't taken away from the actual subject of the photo. Now, even though this is a very easy effect to do, I did make it a Photoshop action for you. If you wanna download it, just check the link in the description of the video. Once you install it, you can click on your image, go up to your actions and run RGB split. It's gonna do exactly what we did with the logo and scale the photo from the center using percentages. All right, guys, and that'll do it. Let me know if you like this type of tutorial. I know it's a little bit different than what I've been making recently, but I enjoy the style of content. I hope you do too. Thanks for sticking around. And in my next tutorial, I'm gonna teach you guys how to Dougie.